All right, guys, as lots of you may know, Donald J. Trump will give his first big speech since he lost the election on Sunday, and this is a make-or-break situation for him. It will help him go forward and prevail, or it will destroy him. Now, I'm going to give you my opinion on what he should say and what I think he will say, okay? First, I'm going to tell you what he needs to say in order to keep going and fighting strong, okay? Now, I know it's easy to attack Biden's personality. He gaffs all the time. He's insane. But that's not what Trump needs to do. Because lots of people, they just don't like it. I think it's personally funny. I think it's hilarious. And I love it. But that's not what Trump needs to do to win people over. He needs to attack policy over personality. The thing he needs to do the most that will help him out tremendously. Go after how Biden is locking kids in cages after he smashed Trump for taking over Obama's policy. Because that will help tremendously. Because even because the far left hates that people like Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, she denounced it. She's like, it doesn't matter what administration it is, it's never okay to lock kids in cages. So that's what Trump needs to smash and keep going after. That's the main thing he needs to capitalize on. Another thing he needs to capitalize on is how he kept all troops in other countries, and it's not helping us. It's helping them and how it's helping other countries. And it's not America first and how it's other countries first. And then we come last. And and he just needs to attack on all the horrible policies Biden's put forward. That's what he needs to do. I know it's fun to watch him attack Biden. But if he ever wants to make a return to the political world or survive, keep the Republican Party afloat, he needs to do this. He needs to. And another thing he could attack on is how... Um, biological male could play in women's sports and how it's gonna just going to ruin women's sports and completely destroy the sport. And it's just going to turn into a whole men's sport of just transgender men playing women's sports. That's what it's going to turn into eventually, I promise you, if this keeps going. That's, that's just what's going to happen. Okay, so that's what I think he should say. I think he needs to capitalize on policy. He needs to go after who he signed. 17, I'm pretty sure, executive orders within the first day. How power hungry that is. So I think he really needs to go over after these things, and it will really help. All right, now I'm going to go into what I think Trump will say. We all know Trump. He's a, he's pretty ego. He likes attacking, all right? But I think what he will do, I there's about a 40% chance Trump will just go after Biden and talk about his gaffes, and, you know, that's what he will do. But... I'm leaning just over to the edge where I hope Trump will have evaluated because he's been taking a vacation at Mar-a-Lago for months. I'm hoping he's evaluated and he knows that what he needs to do is attack the policy. So I think Trump's smart enough and he's been at Mar-a-Lago. He's had a good break. He's been playing golf. He's been watching the news. I think he is smart enough to go after the policy. I'm about 60% sure that's what he'll do. And I'm just really hoping that's what he'll do. Because if he goes after the gaps, it's just going to look like Trump and people just won't like him. But if he really wants to keep the Republican Party strong and survive, that's what he needs to do. So, yep, that's what my opinion is about it. I know lots of people will be like, well, it's so easy to make fun of Biden, and then he'll be able to win him if he runs again in 2024. Not what he needs to do. He needs to run on himself and his own policies and say how the economy is better than ever before the Rona Rona and how Biden has completely ruined it. And if that's what you guys, if, if you guys want the Republican party to stay vote, that's what we need to do. So thanks for watching and until next time.